ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about promoting positive education. The, to promote positive uh, learning is not to threaten the students and making them do what the educator would like them to do. Learning cannot be carried out if a mother threatens a child to do things like writing, reading and participating in the social curriculum. The same as adults who, the use of threatening is not a way of um, educating human beings. It is a punishment and a sign of discouragement and withdrawing the students from the proper participation. Uh, things an inexperienced mother may say to her child, like number one, if you do not write, the teacher will uh, throw you into a pool of sharks and eat you. This may sound fake, but it is in a real situation. Number two, if you do not do your homework, I will throw you into a pool of sharks, this time herself. Number three, if you do not do this, I will call the police officer. So for adults, number one, if you do not attend the meeting, we will cut off your benefits. Did they do what they are supposed to do uh, to a client? And number two, sending threatening message to their customers like promoting negative learning. So all the above examples could withdraw a child from learning uh, and not going to school because in fear of the teacher may throw him or her into the pool of sharks. So to teach a child to learn and be interested in uh, learning, uh, the language use should be taken seriously and cautiously. Words or word uses should contain some positive reinforcements. This way, a child will be directed into a positive pathway of learning. So negative reinforcement and threatening methods cut off the desire for knowledge. Instead of using negative reinforcement and reward them with incentives so as to promote positive learning, this will also promote wellness and support humanity in the society which we can all be part of the world. Threatening in education should not be encouraged and should be eliminated in whatever part of the world and where the humans reside. Okay, let's conclude my today's topic on promoting positive education. And my next topic will be the um, uh, contains and teaching approaches uh, that should cover in a mathematics program. Stay tuned, thank you for listening and goodbye.